My name is Fando Yao Sun. You, you are? I'm the school prefect of Upper Decision High School. You can see the toilet is really in a bad state right now. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's really, it contains a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. And it's not hygienic, it's not safe for some of us. It causes a um, lot of skin problems to most of the students in the school. Okay. Which is really bad. Yeah. I wish the government to come down here and help us get a new toilet because mm -hmm. this is really an ISO. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all in our dormitories um, there is a lot of heat. Um, the problem being that we lack um, ceiling fans. Yes and where there is ceiling fans also they are not working. So there is a lot of heat in the room. Yeah, so and there is also we don't have enough metal beds. Yeah, we lack metal beds. So most of us have to sleep on the floor and some too have to sleep in the classrooms. Yeah, yeah for shelter. And that is also um, dangerous to our health. Yes. Overcrowded. Yeah. We are very overcrowded because the dormitory is very small. We have a small space to be in. So there is a lot of work. Overcrowding in the dormitory. Okay. I'm appealing that the authorities um, they provide us with um, enough ceiling funds and also they help us with infrastructure. Like they come and construct infrastructure for us that will make our dormitories much bigger so that we can um, be there. Yes, yeah. it's really affecting our studies because there is a saying that goes there the sound mind right provide um, sound leader. And since we don't have any sound mind in the dormitories, yeah, um, learning can't go on well. And currently, we are um, facing the problem of um, not um, enough. We don't have enough rooms. We are more than the rooms in the dormitory, and also the ventilation in the dormitory is very poor. So this for some of us to sleep outside. And also the sanitation in the dormitory is very poor because we don't have dustbins. And then we don't have um, a washroom. The washroom there is also not enough. So some of us have to move to the boys' side and then come and then ease ourselves, which, is, which makes us feel uncomfortable. Yeah. We are pleading on the authorities and the government to help provide a better girls' dormitory for us and also improve sanitation which is providing of the dustbins and then ventilation which is the lights and then um, fans for us. My name is um, Konabwa. I'm a fine teacher and I also help in sports. There are a lot of uh, challenges or problems that the school is faced with. To start with um, classrooms a major challenge that the school that the school is faced with. And so as a result, um, the former headmaster went there with the uh, the session of the free SHS, they has to build um, a, a pavilion 
to accommodate the students. The boys' dormitory is also another major problem. The current dormitory that the boys are using is a, a, an old classroom which is converted into um, a dormitory which the boys are using. If you go in there, it's, it's not conducive at all. Um, the details, if you want to talk about it, it will take us a whole day. Another problem has to do with the sports field. We, we don't have a field at all. So, uh, it's affecting sporting activities on campus. If we have to do sports, we have to move out of campus and go to the town. And sometimes to the town to be uh, the other school, which is the GHS, we will be having sporting activity. The town also uses the same thing, and it's also affecting us. The road from the junction to the school is also uh, a major problem that the school is faced with the girls dormitory as well the the dormitory the the there is no enough rooms for the for the girls and so they are crowded uh, in the dormitory likewise the boys as well uh, but it's also the, the the school doesn't have a science laboratory so we will be uh, happy if the government or other organization come to our aid to help us with the science lab and then ICT as well. Uh, boys toilet. Boys toilet. It's also another major, major problem. And um, there's an old one which both girls and boys share. In the night, girls will walk toilet and it, it doesn't ogre well at all. Uh, it creates a lot of problems for us. So these are some of the, sometimes water, water problem is also, also there. Uh, it's, it's affecting us in many ways. For instance, the dormitory, because the, they are crowded, they don't have sound rest. And so daytime you see them getting tired uh, in the class. When you are teaching, you see them sleeping and so on and so forth. And so sometimes to, um, the, the boys will be sleeping because they are overcrowded in the dormitory, they, they, they want to go and sleep in the classroom, which is not the best. Uh, um, the girls are do the same thing. We see their tents outside the dormitory. Uh, some of them as well sleep on, on the corridor, and which, which is not the best. We are appealing to the government, especially to one, as a matter of agency, come in to support us or build a classroom for us too. Boys dormitory. We need boys dormitory. It's a, a, an emergency. It's a, so urgent for us to, to have boys dormitory, for them to have a sound rest after a hard day of work of studies. The girls size do the same thing. We also need um, they also need a uh, girls' dormitory to support what they, they have. The assembly hall, uh, assembly hall, we use the assembly hall as dining as well. So if we, uh, other organization and government will come in to build the uh, assembly hall for us so okay. that we have separate, and it's affecting uh, the infrastructure that we have, the tables and chairs. The SHS has a huge challenge with their dormitories. There is no dormitories for the boys. The girls are crowded, tightly fixed to each other. So as the boys doesn't have any dormitory, you can imagine how they go about things over there. Not to talk about the toilet in the school. It is, in fact, a nice hall, very appalling. There is inadequate classrooms and then furniture. The school hasn't got any science lab and uh, the equipment for science particles you know are not available and then the bridge and the road leading to the school is also bad there is no generator for the school so when there is power outage students can learn all stationary activities come to a halt secondly the town hasn't got any pipe on water 
we have tried time any memorial you know to get potable water but to no avail so we resort to boreholes as a source of water another challenge is health facility there is a miniature health facility in the town which serves all the catchment areas this has been upgraded to district hospital on paper for years now but nothing has hit the ground yet even access through to the hospital is a huge problem and an inadequate medication for patients is also a challenge for us we are fortunate to be listed on the government agenda 111 of district hospitals in the country so we are urging the government to include us in the first trench of the program or of the project so that we will not travel far for medical treatment last but not least is a public toilet there is no public toilet or no toilet facility in the town for the majority of the people who doesn't have you know private Toilet. You know, cleanliness is next to godliness. If you live in an environment where sanitation issues is bad, your sound mind doesn't really reside in a healthy body, as is always said. It doesn't speak good about the community. Because if visitors come to the community and can't find a place of convenience to ease themselves, you know, it doesn't speak well about that.